Hi there, welcome to my channel, Mathusiasm. Today, I want to share with you the worst, hardest, easy geometry problem. The name is weird as the problem is very easy to understand. At the same time, it's very hard to solve it if you try to use elementary method. And you're not allowed to use rulers nor projectors. It's originally called the Lenny's Adventitious Angles. But I'm not going to talk about the original question because it can be made even harder if the given conditions are changed a little bit. Without further ado, let's get started. First of all, we're given four angles and we have to find the unknown angle theta at the top right hand corner. Probably, you might think that using angle sum of triangle and adjacent angles on the straight line, then all angles can be solved. However, we can only find the following angles as you can see in the figure. Let's focus on the blue triangle. There are two angles which we can't figure out. So how to solve it? Let's move on to the thinking process. To solve the problem, we're going to make use of isosceles triangles, congruent triangles, equilateral triangles, and parallel lines. Oh wait, where do these triangles and lines come from? We're going to draw special lines to construct these figures. Before that, let's give some labels to the points, say A, B, C, D, like this. Now we're ready to work out the detailed solutions. First of all, we're going to extend AD and BC to meet at the point E. Let's look at the largest triangle AEB. Using angle sum of triangle, we can find that angle AEB is equal to 20 degrees. Next, we're going to use a special point P, which lies on DB, and the line EP bisects angle AEB. So each smaller angle is 10 degrees. We also construct the line AP. Let's focus on the blue triangle AEP and the red triangle BEP. We're going to prove that the two triangles are congruent. To start with, EP is a common side of the two triangles. Next, angle AEP and angle BEP over 10 degrees. This is by construction of the angle bisector EP. For the third condition, because angle EAB and angle EBA both are 80 degrees, therefore AE and BE are equal in length, and the reason is sides opposite equal angles. Altogether, we we'll have triangle AEP and triangle BEP that are congruent to each other, and the reason is SAS. So we we'll have two corresponding angles of congruent triangles, angle EAP and angle EBP both are 20 degrees. Recall the given condition, angle CAD is 10 degrees, therefore angle CAP, this smaller one, is 20 degrees minus 10 degrees, which is 10 degrees. Also, it's given that angle CAB is 70 degrees, therefore angle PAB is equal to 70 degrees minus 10 degrees, which is 60 degrees. So we have two 60 degrees in this smaller triangle. Using angle sum of triangle again, then angle APB is equal to 60 degrees. So the blue triangle APB is an equilateral triangle. That means the three sides are of equal length. Let them be Y. Now, we're going to prove two more pairs of congruent triangles in the second part. In this part, we'll look at two other triangles which are not very obvious. In a blue triangle AEC and the red triangle EBP, first of all, angle EAC and angle BEP both are 10 degrees. Next, angle AEC and angle EBP both are 20 degrees. Lastly, AE and EB are equal in length. All these three results are proved in part 1. Therefore, triangle AEC and triangle EBP are congruent, and the reason is ASA. Now, we get another pair of corresponding sides of congruent triangles. EC and BP are equal, both are Y. 
we're going to construct some other special lines. Extend AP to meet the opposite side at the point Q. Construct the line EQ. After this construction, we shall look at two more triangles. In the blue triangle DAB and the red triangle QBA, first of all, angle DAB and angle QBA both are 80 degrees. This is a given condition. Next, AB is the common side of the two triangles. Finally, angle DBA and angle QAB both are 60 degrees. This is proved in part 1. Therefore, triangle DAB and triangle QBA are congruent, and the reason is ASA. We got one more pair of corresponding sides of congruent triangles. DB is equal to QA. Let them be X. We're getting closer to the final answer. In the final part, we shall obtain another equilateral triangle. Let's focus on the green triangle DPQ. By vertically opposite angles, angle DPQ and angle APB are both 60 degrees. Next, let's look at the size. Because AP and PB are both Y from part 1, and AQ and BD are both X from part 2. Therefore, DP and QP are both X minus Y. So we have an isosceles triangle. By base angles isosceles triangle, angle PDQ and angle PQD are equal. Using angle sum of triangle, both of them are 60 degrees. So all the three angles are 60 degrees. That means the green triangle DPQ is an equilateral triangle. All the three sides are of equal length, that is, DQ is also X minus Y. Now, we consider the green side, DQ, and the blue side, AB. Because angle PQD and angle QAB are both 60 degrees, therefore, DQ and AB are parallel, and the reason is alternate angles equal. So, the two red angles, angle EQD, and angle EBA both are 80 degrees because they are corresponding angles of parallel lines. On the other hand, because angle QAE and angle QEA are 20 degrees, therefore EQ and AQ are both X, and the reason is sides opposite equal angles. As we have proved that the red side EC is equal to Y, therefore the green side CQ is X minus Y, which is also equal to DQ. Therefore, triangle QCD is isosceles. Using base angles isosceles triangle again, angle QCD and angle QDC are equal. We also proved that angle CQD is 80 degrees. Therefore, by angle sum of triangle, the two angles are 50 degrees. Finally, because angle ACB is 30 degrees, which is found in the introduction, Therefore, angle ACD is equal to 20 degrees. Ultimately, we've solved the world's hardest easy geometry problem. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to watch more interesting math videos in my channel, please hit the subscribe button, like my videos, and turn on the notification. Your support means a lot to me. That's all I have for you today. I'll see you next time. Bye.